has been about two and a half years since my last foray into print on demand. And while I deem that last attempt a failure, there was plenty to learn from that experience. So in this video, I'm gonna give it another shot. So what am I gonna do differently this time around? Well, here's the game plan. First, for my print on demand platform, I'm gonna use Printify. I've used them before and it was great, but this time around, they are actually sponsoring this video. So thanks to them for sponsoring it. But sponsor or no sponsor, I will show you the real results of this experiment. Second, I'm going to forego buying a domain and building a Shopify storefront. I've done that before and it's not really where I want to devote my time. Instead, I'll be selling on Etsy. And maybe most important of all, I'm going to offer custom designs. And my niche, pet owners, or specifically dog lovers, or people who buy gifts for dog lovers. I'm launching at a perfect time, early November, so I'm hoping one of my shirts will make the perfect gift for someone going into Christmas. If you're new to the concept of print on demand, basically you just have to come up with the designs, upload them to Printify or another print on demand platform. And when you get a sale, they will print, pack and ship the goods to your customer. So the benefit is there really isn't much risk at all. You don't have to order 100 shirts up front, hoping you sell through. Also by hosting my store on Etsy, I don't have any overhead costs. So this is a good way to dip your toes into the water and see if this is something you want to seriously pursue. So step one, I made an account on Printify. Then I made another account on Etsy. In honor of the theme, I'm naming the shop after my first two dogs, Carlton and Chesterfield. I slapped together a quick logo and was good to go. So for my first design, I'm basing this off of a trend I've seen lately. It's basically a spinoff of bootleg hip hop shirts from the 90s, but with photos of your pet. So I started working on a design for my dog, Chesterfield. I was looking at some of the pet products on Printify and I think I am going to add a custom photo pet tag as a listing on Etsy too. All right, so I've got two listings now on Etsy, but one thing I always want to do is order a sample for myself to check the design, the print quality, etc. So I placed an order for the sample shirt of my dog Chesterfield and once it gets here, I can take uh, photos and videos for the listing and then advertise on Instagram. Okay, so it's been a few days and the shirt has arrived. It looks really good and Rachel loved it. So we filmed the video for Instagram And I uploaded that to the listing because according to Etsy, listings with videos get twice as many orders. Okay, so something I wanted to mention, maybe you're already thinking it, but selling on Etsy is really competitive. As a customer, do you want to order from a shop with one sale and one review or the shop with thousands of sales and hundreds of reviews? The choice is obvious, unless this scrappy new shop is a lot cheaper. Our prices have never been lower! So instead of worrying about making good profit right off the bat, I wanna focus on getting orders and five-star reviews. I've added an automatic sale on my listings, so the shirt is $15 to $20 cheaper than the competition. I won't make more than a few bucks on it, but again, at this stage, that isn't the point. Once I start getting some reviews, I can bump the prices up. I've also gone ahead and added a few more listings, creating a sweatshirt and long sleeve shirt option. Also single line drawings have been pretty popular lately, so I thought it'd be cool to have a custom single line drawing of people's pets. So I paid a guy on Fiverr $5 to create one for me. I think this would look really cool on a coffee mug. My sister also made one of her cat and she sent me the design so I can attract cat people as well with a dedicated listing. I'm not artistic enough to pull the line drawing off, so if I get an order, I'll just have someone create the design for me. I wanna have as many listings as possible to get the most visibility for my shop, so I went to Canva and created a few more designs. I paid $7.50 for Canva Pro. Okay, so my next step is I'm going to boost that post with that video I did of the shirt to hopefully get it out to more people bring them to my Etsy shop and hopefully that will convert into some orders. All right, I've got some sales. First, I convinced my sister-in-law to order one for herself, but then a complete stranger ordered a shirt. It takes me about 30 minutes to make the design once I get the photos. 
then ordering it through Printify is super simple and quick. And just to show you a little bit of the backend side of things on Printify, here you can browse the different products. So for shirts, there's Bella and Canvas, Gildan, Comfort Colors, etc. So let's say we want to print on Bella and Canvas 3001 shirts. You can see all the providers, the base cost, shipping, production time, colors available, their ranking, etc. For all of my customers in the US, I'm going to use a US based print shop, so shipping will be the fastest but you can see my hard cost, including shipping, is about $14. Right now, I'm selling the shirts on Etsy for $20. Again, I'm not as concerned with the profit at this part of the journey, but when I can up my prices to $35 or so, I'll have a $21 profit margin. A couple other things I think are worth mentioning. This type of shirt is eligible for Printify Express, which basically means within two to three days of ordering, the custom shirt can be on the customer's doorstep. So as we get closer and closer to Christmas and procrastinators finally do their Christmas shopping, I can still fulfill orders. I'll just increase my prices to make up for the difference in my hard cost. And then another nice touch for print on demand is the branding. With Printify, I can include a six by four inch insert card with my Carlton Chesterfield branding and leave a message for my customers for just 15 cents per order. I'm thinking of including a card to encourage customers to leave a review with a photo of the shirt. I also bought a couple of mockups on Etsy for a few bucks to have a more trendy looking thumbnail for the listings. So I think that will help get some more clicks. The other thing I did since I hate writing sales copy is I had ChatGPT write it for me. Here is my prompt. And within seconds, I had really decent copy written for my products. I also wanted to see if ChatGPT could write a pun on a uh, good vibes only that I could turn into a t-shirt with Canva. And uh, well, here's what it came up with. And then here's what I came up with. No sales yet, but we'll see. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> Anyways, my Instagram reel is continuing to get pushed out to more and more people. I set a budget of $150 to start. So let's see if I can get some more orders. All right, it's been three days since my last update and I've got four orders today, including a long sleeve shirt. So that's pretty sweet. I think I'm gonna go ahead and raise the prices to around $31, so it's still a good deal for a custom designed shirt, but I do have to keep in mind my customer acquisition costs because I don't think I'll get that many orders without actively running ads, sending people to my shop. All right, I'll let you know what happens next. All right, it's been four months since I first opened this shop and things are coming along pretty nicely. After Christmas, I did slow down with running ads and haven't put as much time into this project, but I did upload more designs. I now have 12 listings and if I really wanted to go all in with this shop, I would wanna keep creating new designs, continually research what others are doing in this niche and adapt to evolving trends. I have had several five-star reviews come in, which is a great feeling. This customer was a repeat buyer and said, still my favorite purchase ever. I love getting good reviews from people because it's hard to beat a custom shirt with your pet's face plastered all over it. Now, before I share all the numbers, I will say that going the custom route on Etsy is a great choice and print on demand makes a lot of sense for this kind of business. There's a lot of different routes I can take with this and more styles and designs I could explore. All right, let's talk numbers. I ended up creating a total of 12 listings. For the custom pet design, I sold one sweatshirt, two long sleeve shirts, and 16 t-shirts. The sweatshirt, well, my wife bought it, so that doesn't really count, but she loves it, so there's that. I sold two food vibes only shirts, which was ChatGPT's idea. I sold two dog mama shirts, one single line cat mug drawing, and one dogs are greater than people shirts. I had 23 orders with $637 in revenue. Now for my expenses, I had to get a sample order, which was about $17. I spent $630 boosting different Instagram reels. I also spent $33 running Etsy ads. My hard cost for the printing and fulfillment was $399. Altogether, my expenses were $1,079 against a revenue of $637, which does put me in the red $442. But remember, this isn't just about making profit from day one. This is about building something that could sustain for many years. Etsy is super competitive, so with more orders and five-star reviews in the books, I can increase my prices to be more in line with the competition. I can also create more ads and run them more efficiently, do some A-B testing and find what converts most effectively. Real quick, I wanna show you the traffic, how people found me. I think it's kind of interesting. So from Etsy, that accounted for 12%. So either from the Etsy app, other Etsy pages, Etsy search, their marketing and SEO, 
And then I brought in 88% of the visits from social media, I guess, and Etsy ads. It says direct and other traffic, which I think has just gotta be Instagram because I didn't really do anything other than that. So really, I think the name of the game here is running really effective social media campaigns, maybe getting some organic TikToks, things like that, which I didn't even dabble in but that could be a huge way to get a lot of traffic to my page. I am really pleased with how this experiment turned out and I'm going to try to keep this Etsy shop up and running for the rest of the year and I can give you an update then. So I was all set to push this video live, but over the last two days, I've actually received a lot of new orders, mostly from one returning customer buying gifts for friends and family. I sold more shirts, more mugs, more food vibes only shirts, and a couple of custom pet tags. So now I have over 35 sales on my store and I broke $1,000 in revenue. Now I haven't tallied the hard costs of the new orders just yet, but these have pretty good profit margin on them. So I'd assume I'm adding roughly $200 of profit to my bottom line. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna check out my Etsy shop, I'll link that below. And if you wanna learn more about Printify, I'll put a link in the description as well. I'll see you in the next one.